Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, March 7th. Feels more like January 7th out there. It's, uh, it's cold, but warmer days are ahead. Now, let's look out the uh, window this morning with some of the Skycam shots. At the ridiculous hour of 5 o'clock, that's the Inverness Skycam overlooking North Shelby and parts of southern Jefferson County. It's still cloudy. Goodness, these clouds have just uh, refused to go away. That's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking north and north of there. There's the uh, Fayette Sky Cam up in northwest Alabama. Well, you know, we've still got low clouds, and now we have high clouds overhead. So, uh, again, uh, sometimes with these departing big storms like the one we dealt with uh, early in the weekend, it just takes a while, longer than, than you think. Now, we'll call it partly sunny today. We think the low clouds will have to burn off at some point with subsidence, but those high clouds will be around, so... Again, a, a partly sunny day, and if anything, the clouds have prevented us from hitting the freezing mark this morning. It's uh, as cold as 34 in Haleyville, but most spots are in the mid to upper 30s. So uh, if there's one positive to that, that's it. Uh, Birmingham 37, Tuscaloosa 38, Anniston 39 at 5 o'clock. And around the nation, let me tell you what, it's pretty cold up in Canada. It's as cold as uh, 39 below zero up there. We'll keep an eye on that air mass. Don't you know they can't wait for spring? And around the nation, it's pretty pretty chilly. And hard to find any really warm air except maybe down around Miami and uh, Fort Myers. Okay, watch warning map today. Mostly winter weather issues. Uh, got some winter storm watches out for parts of Kansas, Nebraska, the upper Midwest. A few winter weather issues up in the northeast with that departing storm. And wind advisories and scattered pockets out west. But we do think the air will begin to recover. And by golly, look at that day two convective outlook. Tomorrow, got a risk of severe weather. The standard slight risk for all of Louisiana and Arkansas, parts of the adjacent states. Almost over to uh, Interstate 55 in Mississippi. Uh, within that, a uh, couple of enhanced areas. One to the south around Baton Rouge. One to the north. That would include Little Rock and uh, Texarkana. And uh, places like that. And on day three, almost all of Alabama in a standard risk. That includes Alabama and Mississippi. And still, there's more questions than answers at this point. It's not a classic setup. It looks like the storms could be coming through during the morning. Uh, squall line, you know, one of these deals that's not your perfect setup for severe weather, but we'll see. QPF chart, more heavy rain. By golly, we... Picked up two to three inches in most spots over the weekend, and we could see another two-inch round of rain Wednesday. And that's going to knock out the rain deficiency for the whole year. So there you go. March is a wet month, and sure is proving it with this stuff. All right, here's the uh, GFS. This is the 06C run at noon today. There's your departing trough in the northeast. Here comes your new one back in the southwest. We're in between, and again, we're going to call it partly sunny. Certainly no uh, rain or snow today. And we do think that temperatures will begin to recover. After uh, starting the day in the uh, 30s this morning, we'll expect a high in the 50s today. Now, you know, it depends on the amount of sun, uh, and certainly the models are coming in cooler. In fact, the NAM has a high of only 52, uh, while the GFS has 57. Whatever looks like we'll stay uh, way below average. We should be in the middle 60s this time of the year. All right, tomorrow the uh, trough uh, looks pretty good coming at us from uh, the west, uh, digging down into the south plains of Texas. And uh, down below that, the surface low begins to form west of Oklahoma City with the potential for active, maybe severe weather out ahead of that around the Arklatex. And again, uh, we should be in the 60s. Uh, the GFS has 64. The NAM has 62. And Wednesday, uh, the trough begins to uh, elongate over the Middle part of the nation, the axis from Minneapolis-St. Paul down to New Orleans. And at the surface, the uh, surface low is uh, 1,004 millibars near Chicago with that trailing band of convection down into Alabama. And again, uh, we'll check the timing here in a moment. First off, look at the instabilities. And this is interesting. that This is Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, and really the, the, the model has the better instability behind the squall line. It looks like the squall line is going to come through Wednesday morning. And the instability axis is way behind it. 
And uh, there's the instability at 6 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, the uh, better helicity values, the better shear pulling away from us at that point. But let's check the RPM on the timing. This is 10 o'clock Wednesday morning. A squall line is coming through, roughly along Interstate 59. Pretty good-looking squall line. And again, something like that could easily produce damaging straight-line winds based on the dynamics involved, and that would be the main threat here, obviously. And then by 3 o'clock, it's gone. 3 o'clock Wednesday afternoon, it's down around uh, uh, Phoenix City and Columbus and uh, down toward Troy and Greenville. So uh, based on this and the GFS, we'll mention a, a good round of uh, showers and storms, mainly from about 3 a.m. until noon on Wednesday. And if we do have any severe weather, it seems like damaging straight-line winds would be the biggest issue. The instability is very marginal, very marginal for severe weather. But with enough forcing, we could see some strong straight-line winds. So that's the way it looks now. We'll fine-tune that as we get closer. <coughs> Thursday, everything is on by and going to turn colder again. Highs drop back in the 50s. And again, you know the deal. Could be a day where clouds linger and uh, maybe colder than you think, kind of like yesterday. And then Friday... Uh, will be a nice day. We'll start the day near freezing, and if the sky goes clear, we'll make a run at 32. If not, we'll do mid to upper 30s, but we should warm into the 60s with a sunny sky. Hey, this Saturday is going to be a whole lot nicer than last Saturday. How about uh, sunny and high in the upper 60s, maybe pushing 70. Doesn't that sound good? And Sunday looks good. So if you need to do something outdoors this weekend, you'll be good. Mild, a lot of sun, very comfortable Nothing like the uh, rain and the cold we dealt with this past weekend. And a week from today, here comes your new trough. Down below that, convection breaks out to the west. And then on Tuesday the 15th, a week from tomorrow, that all moves in here. And that'll be the next chance of rain. We'll peak at the end of the forecast on the 22nd. Kind of a trough over the east. And that looks uh, kind of cool. Got that 540 line almost down to Huntsville with a northerly flow and Watching the North Atlantic Oscillation, still no sign of any major negative spike. We do note in about 10 to 15 days it tries to go negative, but again, not the kind of thing that would flood us with brutally cold air. We'll keep an eye on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.